hello guys welcome to my channel once again this is tech pba thanks for joining me so in this video i'm going to take you through how to add multiple onedrive accounts on your windows 10 and your windows 11 pcs in my case i'm using a windows 10 pc so to begin with i need to let you know that um, you can add multiple onedrive work or school accounts on your windows 10 windows 11 pieces but then you can only have one personal account coexisting with a, a work or school account or the business account so multiple work or school accounts but one personal account at a time you can't have two personal accounts on a windows pc so if we look at the bottom right hand side we can see the onedrive accounts or the onedrive icon there when we click on it i've actually added uh, before this video i added a work or school account on this pc so that is what we are seeing there so we can see that onedrive and then the tenants beside it so to add the a personal account to this work or school account click the settings icon and then click select settings and then you will see that um, just as i mentioned before the work or school account that has already been added on this um, pc um, is listed over there with the tenants also listed over there so once uh, since we have a work or a school account um, added on this PC which is also a business account um, we can go ahead and then add other work or school accounts on this PC or we can add one personal OneDrive account on this PC so that is what we are going to do we are going to add a, an additional or a one um, personal accounts on this uh, pc which is also a onedrive account so to do that we want to click the add an account and then go ahead and then enter the email address of the personal onedrive account you want to add in my case i will add i will enter um, the email address in the box and then we will continue so when you have your email address entered in that in email address box just go ahead and then click the sign in button and then that should um, prompt you to enter the password for the account so the, the account i entered is actually a microsoft account so guys take note it has to be a microsoft account a microsoft username and then password the username being the email address so once you enter the email address and click sign in you would also need to enter the password to that microsoft account to sign you in on the onedrive accounts on the pc so when that is done you will see at the bottom right hand side that the icons have doubled up so before we had the just one icon now we have two but we are not done yet with the, the the setup so you need to um so on this window i'll i'll leave the default location for the onedrive folder and then click next i'll click the use this folder and then on this uh, window i'll select the not now but if you like you can upgrade your subscription anytime and any day so click next click next again click next again and then i'll select the later button and then the setup is complete so now you can click the open my onedrive folder to view your onedrive folder so that we can view the 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 accounts we just added onto this um, pc so we can see the onedrive personal and the items in that particular folder and then we also have the onedrive um, the work or school accounts or the business accounts when you click on that as well you will see the contents of that folder as well so we can see that both um, the work and school accounts is there and then the personal account is also there then 
like i was saying before when you check the notification area you can see that the icons are two now the work and school accounts has the deep blue icon while the personal account has the gray or the grayish um, icon so i'll click on the the personal account then you can see that um once you sign in everything in your personal account will be um, automatically backed up onto the cloud the onedrive cloud um, to safeguard your files and your documents one last thing i want to show is to how to unlink the personal account we we just added so click the settings icon and then when in the accounts window just click the unlink this pc and then the account and then on click the unlink accounts and then the account we just added will be removed so now you can see that the personal icon has disappeared from the notification area so yes guys kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to support us to bring you more of such videos click the like button if this was helpful share the video turn on notifications for all and then i'll see you in another video thank you bye